Good evening, everybody. Thank you, everybody that's joining us on another, a new season two weekly Wednesday webinars. If you were, if you were with us, season one, we brought excitement, tears, happiness, uh, all of the above, you know. And then season two is full of surprises, but we're just so happy that each one of you are joining us on our first Wednesday, weekly Wednesday webinar. Weekly Wednesday webinar. I can't even tell, guys. I'm sorry. Of 2024, uh, which is gonna give a couple more minutes uh, for other people to join. But we appreciate each one of you for being here with us and taking time of your busy schedule. And as you can see on the screen, we're gonna learn the ABCs of CDs. What's the challenge of the of the evening? Say ABC, the ABCs of CDs as fast as you can, as many times as you can. I think Kim holds the record for 50 times at the same time with no message. At messing least 100. Up. At least 100, she said. There you go. See, she set the bar high. Not really. But we're so happy that each one of you are here with us. And we are looking forward to learn something new with each one of you. So uh, once again, thank you again for being here with us. And we're going to keep it a couple more minutes for everybody else to join. And I see so many familiar names on the attendees. So on this first webinar of 2024, we have so many familiar names on the attendees. And then Mr. Ken Lucas, you know, you're one, one of us. So we appreciate you for being here with us again, supporting the season two of the WWW Weekly Wednesday webinars. We're going to give a couple more minutes. I hope that everybody's having a great week so far. Uh, you know, it's been a great week for me. This is the first full week of work. Last week, we had a short week because of the New Year's uh, celebration. Uh, so this this week feels a little longer than usual, but we're going to get to the rhythm that we always do. So with that being said, Milton, our MC of the evening, is your time to shine. Hey, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and again, as always, we just want to thank everyone for uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule and coming in on board and, and being part of, uh, of what Eddie already, I guess, it's going to be the new title now, Eddie, um, <clears throat> Season 2 or, or Weekly Wednesday Webinar. So this is this is the first one of 2024, and, and we couldn't be more excited to have so many uh, so many uh, familiar names that we've seen uh, that are reporting on the uh, on the participant list. Um, also, for many, uh, you're probably seeing a couple of new faces uh, as as part of the panel team as well too. Um, and and so uh, as Eddie uh, alluded to, we actually have have a couple of surprises. Uh, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I believe we're going to have uh, someone from the from the uh, participants come off mute today and 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 then give uh, his personal experience and share some of his strategies as to what what he's doing with CD. So again, uh, thank you all so much. Um, as always, uh, let me go ahead and introduce the panel for this evening. Um, I don't. I don't even think it needs an intro anymore. But again, because it's a, it's season two, is and it's the first episode. Um, we have Eddie from marketing, uh, who is going to be keeping track of all of the uh, all of the uh, Q and A, uh, all the chat, all the questions that you submit on the chat. Uh, so again, um, we are continuing to do what we used to do, uh, what we did last year, which is uh, our commitment to you, uh, which is to answer every single question that comes through the Q and A and the chat. So again, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you submit them either on the Q&A or in the chat. Um, with uh, Eddie, we also have Andrea Londono, Londono from the marketing team. Uh, she's also going to be assisting with the, uh, the chat and the Q&A. Um, and I also uh, would like to make a special announcement here because um, as I say at the beginning, we also have a new name, uh, a new name, which is Andrea. Uh, but we also have somebody that uh, decided to get a new title um, at the beginning of the year. So uh, a little bit of drum rolls there. Uh, but uh, our very own Carrie Lazar got promoted. So she is now our senior communications manager. So Carrie, congratulations. And we are so thankful to still have you part of this uh, panel. Uh, and thank you again for all the work that you do and putting all of this um, slides together for us so that our expert 
uh, can uh, can can have a blast and and share all the uh, great information with everyone. Uh, and before I forget, uh, my name as uh, as well. Uh, my name is Milton, and I'm the uh, membership development officer here with the credit union um, and our expert this evening. And when I say expert, I actually mean it. I'm not saying it just to say it. Um, someone that's been in the banking industry for many years has a lot of wealth of knowledge, especially when it comes to CDs. Um, and uh, not a familiar face, uh, and you all know her very well also, uh, but that's going to be our very own Kim Frigley, our membership uh, development analyst, who is going to be leading this presentation. So, Kim, I feel like I already talked too much, so let me pass it on to you, and uh, um, and thank you. Thank you so much, Milton and panelist team. Congratulations to Carrie Lazar. She uh, really, really deserves that promotion. Uh, we are so blessed as an organization to have her here. And we're so happy to have Andrea on our team as well. So happy new year to everyone. I have missed this. I think it's been two or three weeks since we have gotten together on a Wednesday evening. So I'm so excited. I wonder if it's gonna take you till April to write 2024 like it will me. Typically I'm still writing 2023. So um, welcome everybody. We are gonna dive right into the ABCs of CDs, choosing, understanding rates and navigating maturity. Let me show you our exciting agenda this evening. Um, and we are so happy to be back in 2024. We have already worked together as a webinar panelist team, and we have such an exciting um, list of financial education for you guys for 2024. And we are just so excited. So continue to spread the word to your friends, your family, your neighbors. This is a free webinar for anyone. You do not have to be a member. So um, put the word out. It only takes six dollars to join our credit union and then look at all the benefits, the advantages that you can take advantage of. You don't have to live on Capitol Hill. Most of our members live all over the country, all over the world. So um, we would love for you to spread the word about our credit union. It is always our goal to provide the best products, financial products and services. Uh, we might be a little bit competitive uh, with rates. Um, however, I can promise you the customer service, the member service that you will receive is what will set us apart. Um, it kind of has fallen to the wayside, but we as a credit union hold it to the utmost highest level. So you will always get um, service like you expect and you deserve. We will treat you like family. So here's today's agenda. Um, we always, it's our goal to give you something that you're looking for to get out of these webinars. Hopefully you can see that right in front of you, the things that you came tonight to um, receive from this educational webinar about CDs. So let's dive right in. So what is a share certificate? So um, it might not be a real familiar term to everyone on this call. Um, you've probably heard more of a certificate of deposit um, or more commonly known as a CD. They are one in the same, you guys. Um, one is just a credit union term and one is a banking term. So share certificate is a credit union term, but like I stated, um, it's a certificate of deposit and um, essentially the exact same product. Um, both products, it's important that you know, are easy to obtain. Um, and they offer perks. Isn't that what we're always looking for? We're looking for perks, which can be guaranteed return rates, um, low deposit requirements, you guys, as little as $1,000. So if you have children, if you have grandchildren, if you have nieces, nephews, you know, that earn birthday money or Christmas money, when they get to that $1,000 mark, open a certificate for them, open a CD for them. Right now, CD rates, we're going to talk about this, are at an all-time high. Now is the time to lock in, and I cannot stress that enough. And they offer multiple term options. We're going to talk about that as well. Um, so we're going to give you certificate of deposit options that suit you, where you are right now. You can choose how much you want to invest in a CD and for what term you feel comfortable with. Um, that is our goal. We want you to feel comfortable and confident with the financial products that you use. 
and they you have the security that they are federally insured. We'll talk about that in the uh, webinar as well. Um, because uh, the, of the difference between banks and credit unions, there's another term that can be um, just a little bit different, but again, they mean the same. A certificate of deposit pays interest and a share uh, cert certificate pays dividends. But again, they're one in the same, just using a little bit of terminology that you may, may have confused you. So hopefully we're all on the same page. And I'll be honest here at the credit union, when you call in, when you come in, we may use those terms that you're most familiar with. And it's okay because they really are one in the same. Um, let me just say this. When you open your savings account and you put that $5 into your, into your share, that's what we call a savings, a share account, a savings account, you become a member owned um, member. You, you then have voting rights to our board of directors. So as a member owned financial institution, credit unions can typically offer better rates than banks. So our rates can be higher. And I already told you the service is always better. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win for everybody. So the financial uh, product, a CD, it's, it's a low risk way to increase your savings over a fixed period of time called a term. During the term of the certificate, you really, you can't touch your money without a penalty. Um, the good thing about here at the credit union is, let's say you've got a 10000 dollar certificate CD and your refrigerator goes out. And I don't even know how much refrigerators cost and I don't want to know how much they cost, but I'm just going to say, let's say it's $1,300. We will allow you to take just $1,300 from that CD and you're only penalized on that amount that you take. And then your other money is still fixed for that, uh, that whatever amount's left for that same term and rate. So that's another benefit. We don't make you cash the whole thing in and, and make you be penalized on that whole amount, we will allow you to take a portion. Hopefully you, you know, were able to leave some money in your savings for emergencies like that, and then take the money that you know you're not going to need and lock it in and then kind of forget about it. So you also earn a fixed percentage yield. Um, so APR is annual percentage rate. APY is annual percentage yield. And this is something that I talk to members about all the time because they just don't understand that. So some consumers, some members will, especially if they're retired, will take the interest from their CD and use that as income. Makes total sense to buy your groceries, to go on trips. But if you don't need that as income, members will just add the dividends back into the balance. So instead of getting that APR, say 5%, that member is going to get the APY, the annual percentage yield, which let's say it's 5.18. So because they didn't take the interest, they continued to compound it into the balance. They actually earned interest, not only just on the balance, but the interest as well. So um, just wanted to give a little... Um, just a little bit of information about APR and APY. So let's talk about how certificates actually work. Bear with me just a second. My page does not want to turn. There we go. So how do certificates work? Um, they work kind of like a savings account, a share account. You deposit the money, um, you accrue interest, if we already talked about it, but if you would withdraw the money, of course, you could be penalized. So try to make a sound decision as to the term and the amount that you could actually lock in at that CD. It's for a predetermined length of time. Um, so you're in control of all of this. You're the one who chooses the amount, the term that you're comfortable with, and um, whatever rate it is for that, for that term. So um, they offer a fixed rate and it remains constant throughout the term. Your initial deposit is the only one. Your initial deposit is your principal for the life of that investment, the, the term of that CD. So unlike with regular savings accounts, you cannot make additional deposits whenever you want to. So you put in 10,000 into a three-year certificate, that 10,000 is for that term at that rate until it matures. Now, once it matures, you can add to it. You can change the term. You can 
take it out, whatever you want to do. And we do give you a 10 day grace period. We do give you 10 days after the maturity date to make that decision, because it is a decision that you really need to think about and um, make sure that you're making the right one. So we do give you a 10 day grace period and that's without penalty, but you can't open a $10,000 CD today. And then let's say you get a $3,000 check in the mail and you're like, okay, I want to add that to my CD. You just can't add money to the CD. You can open another CD for that 3,000, which is what I would recommend. Um, CD rates are fixed over the term links. The interest rate offered on a CD remains fixed throughout the entire term. You earn the same interest rate on your investment until that CD reaches maturity. It's really very simple. Um, CDs, we've already talked about, have relatively higher interest rates. Um, one of the primary advantages of a CD is the higher interest rates that they offer compared to standard savings or money market accounts. Um, this makes CDs attractive. Right now, this is the hottest topic here at this credit union. Um, I don't know if you have had to call into the contact center, but our whole times are a little longer than normal because everybody in the country is coming to us and opening CDs. And, I, and I'm being very serious. Um, it's really great. It really is. Um, so higher interest rates compared to standard savings accounts. Um, and it just maximizes your earnings on a predetermined amount of money. So, you know, we always say make the most of the money that you have. Um, because that's, that's the smart way to invest. Um, you don't have to worry about losing any money. It's not out here on the stock market. Um, you are going to get back what you put in plus, plus additional money. So we've already talked about this, but we just want to make sure you understand that you must pay a penalty if you withdraw early. So you probably know when you open a CD, you're opening it for that term. And this is anywhere you go. Um, I don't know if all institutions will allow you to take just a portion. I know that that is, uh, that is something that this credit union allows, which I think is really um, awesome. I really do. If you don't need the whole 10,000 and you only need 1,300, you don't want to pay a penalty on the whole 10,000. So if you decide to withdraw the money before the CD matures, you will typically face a penalty and the penalty can be a portion of the interest earned um, on that CD. So if you go to our website and you go to um, personal, go to share certificates, again, there's that terminology difference. Share certificate is a certificate of deposit, a CD. And if you click on that and you scroll down a little bit, you uh, just click the box that says um, you want more information. And then there are the rates. When you pull up the rates, if you look to the left side, you will see our fee schedule. If you pull up our fee schedule, scroll down to the bottom, and maybe that we should have a webinar where we actually go through our website with you guys and show you exactly where these things are. Um, you'll see what there's different penalties for which term that you have. So that's where you can find that information, um, especially if you're thinking about open a CD and you have these questions. I just mentioned that right now our call volume is longer wait times than normal. And most answers to your questions are right on our website. Um, and I'm also going to give you my phone number at the end of the PowerPoint presentation so you can call me directly um, and not have to wait for someone in the contact center. So we talked about penalties um, and we also talked, but we're going to talk about it again, insured by NCUA. Um, it's the same as FDIC for banks. It's NCUA for credit unions. And um you are insured up to $250,000. Um, IRAs are insured separately. So if you have a $250,000 non-IRA CD, you're insured for $250,000. If you have a $250,000 IRA CD, that's an additional $250,000. If you have a joint owner on your credit union account, 
that account is insured for 500,000. If you add a beneficiary who was not you or the joint person, that's another 250,000. So now you're insured for 750,000. So you have two children. So now you add your second child as a beneficiary. Now, how much are you insured for? A million dollars. So we can help you strategize your account to where you can bring as much money to our credit you know, as, as you would like. We have been here since 1935. There is no better, stronger, safer institution to have your money than the United States Senate Federal Credit Union. And I truly, truly mean that. So let's talk about, we just talked about how CDs work. Let's talk about the benefits because there are many. Benefits of investing in share certificates, which is a certificate of deposit and a CD. So one benefit is a guaranteed rate of return. Um, it's one way for you to secure a higher rate than you might be able to earn from a savings or money market account, but also lock in a rate that you're guaranteed for a set period of time. I just want to share with you guys that most of the members that I talk to that are opening certificates this month, um, and it's many, um, they've wanted this, the five year, they wanted the 16 month CD. And I said, well, I don't know if you know this, but our 12 month our 24 month and our 36 month are paying more than the five year and they don't care. They still want that five year because they are afraid in the next five years, rates are going to go down and they want to be guaranteed that five year rate when they do. So I found that very interesting. Um, so um, guaranteed rate of return. You're not only signing up for a known interest rate, but also the duration or term. What's really good about this, you guys, is particularly when rates are high, like they are now, is that your rate cannot go down. I guess that's why members are choosing the five-year, even though the rate is a lower um, rate than uh, the 12, two-year, and three-year term. You know, it's very possible that the Fed will start lowering it's benchmark rate in 2024, if we're all really honest. Um, and if it does, rates on high yield savings accounts, money market CDs, they're going to start to fall. So that's why, you know, we cannot say it enough that now, now is the time. Don't procrastinate. Don't sit on it. Um, now is the time to lock in. Because then you're locked in. Um, until that CD matures. And you're going to be able to sit back and no matter what the rates do, you're going to have that peace of mind. And that's important to us. Um, you all, We also offer the multiple term options. We talked about that. We offer anywhere from three, three months to 60 months, but it's important that we share with you guys that let's say you need an eight month certificate because in 10 months, your child, your adult child is going to get married and you're going to need that money about two months before that wedding to start paying all of the, um, the vendors, the people that you have hired, the caterer, the florist, um, the venue. You don't have to get a three month, a six month, a 12 month. Now, keep in mind, if you do get the eight month certificate, you're going to get the rate from the six month certificate. You're going to get the rate on the six month certificate up until one day before you get to the next term. But it allows you the flexibility of utilizing, putting your money into a term that it's going to mature at the exact time that you need it, which is really important to us as a credit union. Um, low deposit requirements. I think we talked about this a little earlier, as little as a thousand dollars. Um, so you can actually open a CD. Um, you know, you don't have to have a substantial amount of money here at the credit union to open a CD. It can be as little as a thousand dollars. So by offering a more accessible point of entry, share certificates stand out really as an excellent option for even new investors, even even kids, you guys, um, who may not be able to commit large amounts of money to their initial investments. So additionally, seasoned stockholders can use share certificates to diversify and stabilize more aggressive strat strategies. So low to no fee structure, you know, 
Um, if you've been in these webinars before, credit unions typically have low to no fee structures, period. Um, we have a uh, board, we have a board of directors that volunteer their time for free. There's no stockholders like a bank and all of the money that they make go to those stockholders. No, we give it back to our members um, in a deposit. So low to no fee structure. It's just another benefit of opening a CD. So some banks um, or credit unions don't charge a monthly fee to hold your money in the CD. This comes in handy because you don't have to worry about fees impacting the interest earned on your CD. So while the absence of a monthly fee is a key CD benefit, it's also important to remember that there could be some other costs associated with a certificate of deposit. So let me just give you one example, and we've already talked about it, but we can't say it enough, and that's an early withdrawal penalty. If you take your money out of the account, out of the CD, out of the certificate of, the, of deposit, out of the share certificate before its maturity date, maturity bank, <laughs> I can't talk, maturity date, then it could, um, you could impose a penalty, which of course could impact your interest, um, or even your principal. So again, it's really important that you choose the term, choose the amount that you feel comfortable with so that you still have emergency money, so to say, if you need it. And then another key benefit uh, is security. And that's the, the National Credit Union um, Administration, the NCUA. They insure share certificates for up to $250,000 for credit unions. It's the same, you guys, as what you're familiar with FDIC, if you're familiar with FDIC at banks. So one of the main benefits of a CD is that unlike stocks, where it's possible to gain or lose large sums all in one day, which I can't even imagine, I would never do that, of trading, the interest earned on a CD will allow your money to consistently grow. You're not going to lose a thing. You don't have to have that stress, that anxiety of what the stock market is doing because it is safe, sound, and secure in a set term with a set rate. And it's just going to give you that peace of mind. So um, why should someone open a certificate? There's lots of great reasons. Um, we kind of talked about this. You have a big purchase coming up within a shorter time frame. It's really good. Uh, CDs are really the best place for your money in every situation. Um, there are times when their security and relatively high interest rate can make them a really wise investment. Um, if you don't want to risk an investment losing value in the stock market, we recommend that you invest in a CD. Uh, knowing that the principal and earned interest will be there at maturity. Um, you have cash you don't need anytime soon. Sitting in a savings account. Um, if I ever talk to members who have a large amount in their savings or a large amount in their money market or a large amount, some, some members even have it in their checking account. It's not earning any interest at all. We always want to educate and advise them, hey, do you realize if you open even a money market how much money you could you could earn um, on that amount that you have in that regular savings or that checking account that's not earning any interest at all. Some members, they just don't know. And that's why we're here. That's why we're doing these webinars to educate and advise so that everyone is financially savvy and know the uh, options, the resources that they have. So you could definitely earn more in interest by putting, you know, that additional money that you have just sitting there in a CD, assuming you don't access it before it matures. Um, or you have savings you want to get out of sight and out of mind. Everybody knows I love to shop. So yeah, it's good for my husband to take our money and hide it somewhere in a, in a, a different account, in a share that I don't know anything about. And um that way, you know, I'm not just swiping my debit card at the mall. So, you know, if you have savings, you want to get out of sight and mind, CDs are a excellent resource for you to lock that money up. You know that you can't touch it without being penalized. Um, just a really good option. Um, 
especially if you need, you know, if you have a specific long-term goal and you think you'll be tempted to spend it if it's just sitting in savings or money market. So a CD can, you know, incentivize you to, to pretty much leave it alone. And I can't say this enough. I've said it and I'm going to say it again and I'm going to say it again and I'm going to say it again. Rates are high. Um, right now is the time to lock in on a CD. If you've even got $1,000, that you're not going to need in the near future. I highly recommend if you're trying to make your money work for you, right now is the time. A CD is the, the definite way to go. So what types of certificates do we offer? All different kinds. We have anything and everything for everybody, whatever makes you feel comfortable. We have a fixed rate CD. Um, we've already talked about this. You Deposit whatever amount of money you want to for a specific, specified time frame that you choose, ranging from anywhere from three months to you could go up to five years and receiving compensation in the form of interest that accumulates at a fixed rate until that CD matures. Um, however, there are several types. We talked about fixed rate. There's bump rate CDs. So we do offer bump rate CDs. A bump rate CD allows you to request an increase in the interest rate during the CD term one time. So if you have a three-year bump rate CD and, you know, let's say it was 4% and you opened it and then two years later, that rate went significantly higher and you saw that the rate was higher and you called in and said, hey, I'm ready to, I've got a bump rate certificate, I'm ready to bump it up. Um, we would actually bump that rate up for you one time during the um, term of that certificate. Now, keep in mind that bump rate CDs are typically a little bit lower than the regular CDs, the non-bump rate CDs, but if you opened a non-bump rate CD, just a regular fixed rate CD, and rates went up, you can't call us and say, hey, I want the higher rate. It just doesn't work that way. So bump rate might be you know, a good certificate option for some of you. Um, if interest rates were to go up, um, you could bump it up. Uh, jumbo CDs, you've probably seen this on our website under our rates. Typically, it's a larger minimum deposit, typically starting at 200000 That rate is going to be typically higher. Um, although lately, the trend is, is reversed. And we talked about that, about our 12 months, 24 months, and 36 months being higher right now than the four and five year. Don't see that happen often. I've been at this credit union for... This will be my 17th year here, and um, this might be the second time that I've seen that. It might be the first, but typically, uh, the high, the longer the term, the higher the rate. So it's just the way it's working out right now. And we offer individual retirement account, regular IRAs. Um, if you are, you know, if you have income, then you probably can contribute to an IRA every year. Um, right now is a great time to do it because you have until April the 15th to do a prior year contribution. If you didn't make a contribution in 2023, you can actually reach out to us. And those rates are the same as the non-IRA um, rates. So a really good time to open an IRA. If you have left your employer and you have a 401k just sitting somewhere, now's a great time to roll it over to our credit union and put it into an IRA CD because the rates are so high. I've actually had lots of members who have actually um, gone to their broker. Uh, they had individual retirement accounts with them, but they were out there on the market and they transferred them all to the credit union and we opened um, IRA CDs because our rates are so good right now. Um, small business accounts. We offer small business accounts and we offer business share certificates and businesses can business accounts can also get a bump rate CD. And it um, works just like the regular CD and the bump rate that we just talked about. You can actually, if you get the bump, you can bump it up one time. So it's important to note that the specific terms, interest rates, and conditions associated with CDs can vary. 
between financial institutions. What we offer might not be the same that Navy Federal offers. Um, and I think we're all very aware of that. Um, they definitely can vary between financial institutions. So let's talk about certificate interest. The interest earned on a certificate is dependable. And that, isn't that what we all want? It grows thanks to the power of compound interest. Compound interest is interest added to the principal. We kind of talked about this before of your investment so that from that moment on, the added interest also earns interest. And that's important for you to ask. If you're opening a CD anywhere, you need to ask that question. Is your interest compounded? Um, you know, it helps you, uh, your savings to grow more quickly. So let's say there's a 4% annual percentage yield. Compounded daily, uh, let's say uh, there's a savings balance of $10,000. So you open a CD with $10,000, the APY is 4% you would earn a little bit more than $400 in one year. Um, year three, uh, you would earn, you can see it there, uh, about a little over almost $1,300. And then year five, goodness gracious, 22, a little over $2,200. So um, how awesome is that? I mean, you have $10,000. If you leave it in savings or checking, for that period of time, you're not gonna earn anything at all. And you might even be tempted to use it. So you might not even have 10,000 by year one, year three, year five. So put it on a CD. Um, it really uh, is the best time to do it. So if your um, money is in an account that earns a strong rate, your balance will grow without any additional effort on your part. You can lock it in and forget about it. You really can. Um, we do compound daily. This is a question that every consumer, every member should ask when opening a, a CD. Do you compound the interest daily and when do you pay it? So we compound daily and we pay it monthly. So I just want to give you a quote that Einstein said. Um, one of the most, he said, one of the most powerful forces in nature. Um, he said, interest is one of the most powerful forces in nature. And it's true. He also said the most power, powerful force in the universe is compound interest. He referred to, his, referred to it as one of the greatest miracles known to man. Albert Einstein, you guys. Um, and it's so true. So we've already talked about certificate safety. I've already told you guys this credit union started way back in 1935. Um, we are a sound uh, credit union. This is a safe place for you to house uh, your, your money and have that peace of mind. Um, we are a federally insured credit union by NCUA um, and no member has ever lost a single cent from accounts insured by the NCUA. And that that is um, that says everything within itself. So not a single no member has ever lost a single cent from accounts insured by the NCUA. So uh, the National Credit Union uh, Administration, I think it's important to tell you a little bit of the history um, of the NCUA. It was created uh, by Congress in 1970 to ensure members deposits uh, in federally insured credit unions. And we already talked about the amount of coverage that each member has. Credit union members can use the share insurance estimator. Um, it's on mycreditunion.gov to calculate what portion of their accounts are insured. So you can go in, it's just a pre-fillable. I always send members to this um, if they're wanting to know, you know, they wanna make sure that they have the coverage for the amount that they're gonna deposit into the credit union. Um, it's real simple, real easy to use, um, and it'll help you determine how much you want to transfer to us. So a lot of members choose a certificate ladder. Um, a certificate ladder, consists of an investment divided up usually in equal amounts 
into multiple CDs of staggered term lengths. You can see it on the PowerPoint slide in front of you. Um, each CD term is a rung of the ladder and usually they're equally uh, spaced apart. So when each CD matures, you reinvest in a longer term CD. So you also always have money becoming available to you. So you would divvy up your investment, say 10,000 into five CDs, like you see um, in front of you, 12 months, two years, three years, four years, five years. When the one year CD matures, you take that 2000 plus the interest it earned and you invest it into a five year CD. And ideally you just repeat this until you have a five year CD maturing every single year. Um, but if you need the funds one year, you can opt to withdraw whichever CD is maturing up, um, instead of reinvesting. So uh, CD ladders are very popular. So let's talk about uh, why would you, what's, what is a, a CD ladder good for? So it lets you diversify across CD terms to take advantage of short, mid-range and long-term CDs. Typically, the longer a CD term, the higher the rate. But if you stick with only long-term CDs, you lose access to that money for many years. So a CD ladder provides kind of a middle of the road approach, um, regular access to some funds while earning long-term CD rates. Ideally, rates rise over time. So you capture increasingly higher long-term rates, but if that doesn't happen, a CD ladder still provides a really good solid mix of yields. So if you fret about CD rates, where CD rates are headed, a CD ladder takes the pressure off your shoulders. Um, they really do. Just remember a CD ladder works best if you don't withdraw the money. Um, you always want to make sure you have an emergency fund set aside before you want to invest in CDs. That's important. We talked about, you know, emergencies. But CD ladders are a great way to invest. Um, certificate maturity, um, the end of the CD term, that's just what it's called. It's called uh, the maturity date. When your CD matures, it reaches the end of its term. Uh, we've talked about the grace period. We actually, the credit union here gives you a grace period of 10 days. Um, so it's wise to make up your mind well before your CD reaches maturity, because if it renews at that same term, it's going to renew at whatever the rate is at that time on that day. And once you pass that 10 day grace period, you can't withdraw it change your mind, say you forgot without taking that penalty. So um, I want to make sure that everyone on this call knows that if you take out a CD tomorrow, let's say you call me and you want to take out a CD, it will be set up to auto renew. But you can say, hey, Kim, I don't want it to auto renew because I'm getting a five year. I might forget about it. We just said open it and forget about it, didn't we? So you want to say, hey, Kim, or whoever you're talking to, I want to make sure that goes to my money market, or I want to make sure that goes to my checking, or I want to make sure that goes to my savings upon maturity. And we can manually go in right then and there um, as soon as it's open and, and change that auto renewal to do whatever you need it to do. And we do notify you. If you get electronic statements, we will send you electronic notice about two months before that certificate is going to mature, just to say, hey, you've got a CD coming up and you're going to have this much time to decide. So you might want to start thinking about it. But again, you can tell us at the time you open it, hey, I know you guys auto renew CDs. However, I want you to make sure mine goes to my savings or checking or money market account. And we can seamlessly do that in two seconds. So important to know. So um, in the month or two leading up to your CDs, uh, that's when we um, typically will let you know you can renew your CD. Um, you can simply let us know to renew your CD at its current APY for that product. Um, of course, the new rate is probably going to be different from the rate that you got when you first opened the account. 
you can put the money into a new CD. So you can say, hey, I want to withdraw that money from the four-year CD and I want to put it into a five-year CD. Um, you could even take it out and let's say you had it in a regular non-bump CD and say, hey, this time, I'm not sure what rates are going to do over the next five years. I want you to put it in the bump rate CD so that I can bump it up once if, if rates go up. You can transfer the funds into another savings account. Uh, you could put it in your checking, your money market, just like we just talked about. You can withdraw the money. We can send you a cashier's check. You can, uh, depending on the amount, you could use bank to bank within our online portal and transfer those funds um, if you needed to. In any case, um, communication to you will stipulate a deadline for you to provide instructions. That's that 10 days that we talked about uh, with an indication of what the institution will do in lieu of receiving your guidance. So if we don't, if we don't receive your guidance, what's going to happen is it's going to renew at that same term for whatever the rate is at that time. And we want to make sure that um, you know that up front. So we talked a little bit about early withdrawal penalties, um, but we want to make sure that everyone understands, has the um, information as to what if you have to withdraw your certificate early. There are early withdrawal penalties. Um, usually it's calculated as monthly interest. Um, varying which CD term length. And like I said, if you go to our fee schedule on our website, it breaks it down uh, for you. Um, so even though opening a CD involves agreeing to keep the funds on deposit without withdrawals for the term of the duration, that doesn't mean you lack options. Um, if, you're, if your plans need to change, uh, you encounter an emergency, uh, a change in your financial situation, or, you know, you simply feel that you can use the money more usefully or lucratively elsewhere, um, you can always take it out. There's just, you just have to understand there's going to be a penalty. We've had lots of members recently who had CDs that had not matured and they took the, taking the penalty was more beneficial because they were locking it into a much higher rate and the dividends that they were going to earn on that new CD was going to far outweigh that penalty. So there are times when it's a good idea to take that penalty. Um, and that's something if you have questions about, you can always call me, email me, and I'm happy to let you know what your options are. So, um, the most common way that financial institutions accommodate a premature termination is by assessing an early withdrawal penalty on the proceeds before your funds are distributed according to specific terms. So we will take the penalty out before we uh, transfer what is due to you. Most typically, the early withdrawal penalty is charged as a number of months interest, which is how ours works, with a greater number of months for longer CD terms and fewer months for shorter CDs. It just makes sense. If you have a five-year CD, your penalty is going to be more than if you had a 12-month CD. Um, so an example, 12-month, six-month interest for those with terms up to three years, you would lose a full year's worth of interest. I think it's 360 days um, for long-term CDs. Um, so again, our fee schedule on our website breaks it down um, very well. So we don't like to, we do not like to, for members to incur early withdrawal penalties. So it's especially wise to, you know, make sure that you are, opening the CD for the term and the amount that you feel comfortable with. But like we said just a minute ago, things can change. Your financial situation can change. And taking a penalty is not the worst thing in the world that could happen. So um, if you need that money. So just think about it that way. Um, just try to avoid it if you can. So how do you choose your certificate? How do you know which certificate you should um, invest in? So the first question would be, what, what's your goal? Determine what the money is being saved for. 
If the funds are likely to be used within the next few months, a savings account or money market, um, or or maybe you could even invest in a three month CD if if you weren't going to need it for three months is probably the best option for you. You know how long you're going to ask yourself how long will your money be tied up in the in the CD? Um, you really should consider a certificate of deposit, a CD for funds that don't that you don't need to access in the short term. Money meant for near uh, term purchase or emergency savings really should be in a liquid account. And that would be your money market accounts. Money market pays more than savings. I always recommend members to open a money market account for the emergency savings that they hold uh, for their um, to be liquid to them. These accounts allow you to access your funds anytime without penalty. What are you um, eating, Trevor? Sorry. My bad. So what are the penalties for early withdrawal? We already talked about that. You can find that on our fee schedule. Um, it'll break it down exactly for you. Um, just go to our website, go to our rates. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see fee schedule. So we currently have one of the top uh, rates in the nation. Um, and we would love for you to open um, a CD with us, like I stated, um, as little as $1,000. So um, I am going to, let's look at how much you could earn with $10,000 in a CD. So we're going to finish this presentation off with a look at what $10,000 can earn you. Um, 10,000 in a one year CD, you can see it on your screen at 5.23 will earn you $523. Um, that same $10,000 for 24 months at 5.18 APY will earn well over a thousand. And then you can see what $10,000 for five years at 4.86, um, what you would earn. I mean, to me, that's just free money. That's a vacation. That's, you know, just think of the things that you could do with with that money versus just leaving your money sit in a non-interest bearing account. Um, we just want you to have the tools, the resources to understand how to make the most out of the money you have on deposit. So um, you can visit a USS FCU branch. You can, all kinds of communication channels. And we want to try to give you the communication channel that you want and deserve. Um, so you can visit a branch. You can send a secured message through your online banking portal. Um, you can call 800-374-2758. Um, you can choose option seven if you, choose, if you call that number and say Kim Fridley, and you'll get directly to me. Or there's my email and my direct um, phone number. You can also see our website, the URLs for certificates and rates at the bottom of the screen. So I hope this was beneficial to you guys. I hope we have lots of questions and um, so excited for you guys to invest whatever money you have into our credit union. It's the best place to have it. Thank you so much, Kim, for that amazing presentation. Uh, we have learned so many new things uh, that I didn't know about OCDs, and I'm sure that our attendees have learned so many new things. And the panelist team, I know, is very excited because we have questions and two speakers this evening. Correct, Carrie? You know, Carrie is the bouncer, so she want to make sure that everything is in order, of course. Uh, before we move forward, I just want to give to a special shout out to a person that sent uh, a message earlier to us. And she's one of us. She's part of the United States and the Federal Credit Union team. Michelle Johnson, thank you very much for being, you know, with us. We appreciate you should you support Shelby. You you don't go no hey, Shelby for being here. So uh with that being said, uh what what's the order, Carrie? Are we gonna have Mr. Lucas speak first? Yes, please. So we have Mr. Lucas, who is a credit union member and a very seasoned certificate investor. And we were kind of talking about well. Uh, strategy that he uses 
not everybody just has the money to get a CD, but he's got um, some wisdom to get you there. So I believe I did the come off mute thing. So you should be able to talk, Mr. Lucas. Am I coming through, Kim? Yes. Okay. And Gary, thank you for letting me speak. So very simple. In 2014, my wife and I started talking about our different strategies for retirement and the fact that we're getting tired and we might want to retire early. So in 2015, we started putting away one CD a month. Every month, we did a five-year CD. Sometimes it was only $1,000. Sometimes it was $3,600. Sometimes it was $1,200. Whatever we had extra, we started putting away. And in five years, in 2020, those 60 CDs started to mature, one every month. And we'd either add some more to it or just roll it over whatever we had. And now today, they're continuing to roll over and maturing and maturing to the point where in 2026, we're going to be able to retire five years early from our jobs. Um, so that is really an exciting part. A um, couple comments about CDs. Number one, I don't have to worry about what the stock market does, what the bond market does, when anything else does. This whole last six, uh, this whole last year while the stock market was down, I was still making money every month on CD interest. It was incredible. Uh, it's just exciting. And as far as penalties go, um, if you have an emergency, and you need the money, the penalties on taking money out of a CD are a heck of a lot less than taking it out of a 401k. Uh, I broke some CDs that were down at two and a half percent for when the market was down, when the CD market was rates were low and put them in uh, much higher CD rates. And I was able to make that money up in less than five months. That money is reported on your, uh, I saw on my, a slip from the bank at the end of the year, I believe it's called a 1099 slip that you get from the bank as penalties. And I'll be able to write those penalties off. Where penalties from a 401k, you cannot write off. So that's my input. I'm just telling you this strategy that we used, I, we call it the investment snowball, has just been fantastic for my wife and I. Thank you very much. That is amazing. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Lucas. Yes, thank you so much so for sharing. Great to have you. That. And uh, I mean, the, like, listen, the fact that you, the, the your, your, uh, what you just mentioned that saying that you know you're able to retire five years sooner than what you had originally uh, planned, uh, that just says uh, uh, a lot. I mean, it's it truly, it truly is. Um, you know, a tool that it's available there for everyone to take advantage of. Uh, and especially, you know, uh, as, as Kim alluded to, you know, that right now the rates are still, um, uh, what I will say, one of the highest that we've seen in the last 20 plus years. Um, and, and then with that, not that I'm trying to be negative or anything, but uh, uh, but there's been reports that the feds will be reducing um, uh, the rates uh, and they're expecting at least three cuts um, that could be anywhere between 1, uh, 150 to 200 basis points. So that's almost a 2% reduction on the rates that we're currently seeing for uh, 2024. So um, uh, I think Kim also mentioned that the, the best time to establish a uh, CD is right now, is today. Uh, don't wait until the rates start to go down and drop and, and then you... Uh, you know, that you uh, blame yourself for not uh, uh, investing in, in a CD, which again, uh, as Mr. Lucas mentioned, uh, this is a safe investment. Um, the penalties that you will pay should you decide to break a CD in the middle of a term is way, way less uh, should you be uh, taking the money out of your retirement accounts or perhaps any other investment accounts that you may have somewhere else with a financial advisor. So uh, truly, truly a great strategy. Um, Kerry, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we also have another um, speaker that will be coming in from the, uh, from the panelists. We do, and I believe I gave speaking privileges. So Mr. Stan. Mr. Tan Stan, it's time to shine. All right. Well, thank you for giving me a few minutes to speak. I think I met you, Eduardo, and Milton back on the security seminar. So 
um, I'm in the IT field myself, so I tend to think a certain way logically, at least I think I do that way. And I, I, I work with spreadsheets all day long. I live and breathe by spreadsheets. Okay, so I do all my calculations. I've been forecasting all my stuff for since 2010 on my spreadsheet through now. So it just keeps appending year after year. So I do my own a um, couple things along CD. So I, I've been doing CDs for a while also too. And so here's been some of my experience. I just joined you guys just, I believe, May of this year. So I'm new to you guys. I'm glad I came along and ran into you guys. Um, obviously, you guys have some really great rates and I've, I've been able to take advantage of them all. In fact, um, like I said, my goal is like Mr. Lucas is to retire by a certain age um, in, in five years from now. Hopefully, I'll I'll be able to retire and that's about the right time, right around 67. So I could retire now, but I think with the CD rates going at the way they are, um, I expect to, it's going to be a six digit figure in all my CDs maturing in five years from now. So it's pretty substantial. Um, so a couple of things, um, like the other person was saying, um, I think the rates haven't been this high since 2008 because I follow the market very closely. The only other time they were double digits was back in the Carter days, back in the mid seventies where they were double digits, like 10 to 15%, which most of us didn't have money to put in back then. But in any case, um, it's the power of interest. That's what I've noticed over the years and years and years. It just adds up cumulative. Um, as far as the other thing too, I had CDs at other places that were probably like what Mr. Lucas knows, about almost basically about two points difference because the highest you could get three years ago was roughly around two and a half to 3%. That was the max. And people can find out there's a lot of CD penalty calculators that you can go out there and find and do your own calculations. My thought was, you know what? I might've lost what I did for whatever, six months, 12 months, whatever it is. But in the end, what matures in two years from now will not even come close to what this will be in five years. So you have to look at the big picture, not today, not tomorrow. Now, for those who can't put aside money in large amounts, here's what I did. Let's say you got, I'll use a small number, 25,000, and you want to put aside 20. Rather than putting 20,000 where, make five CDs, all 5,000 each. So if you only need 5,000, you won't break the other, you won't have to break 25,000. You're only breaking 5,000 and do it as you need it. Don't do it as one large CD. So... The place I had before, they said, you have 10 CDs. I said, yeah, but if I have to break any of them, I'm only breaking as I need them. The other thing, too, that I do is to make it easy myself because it looks a little crazy looking at 10 CDs. I rename all my CDs with the file name because I'm really good with file names to make sense. So it might say 3YR, three year. I put the percentage 3% and I put the maturity date. So I don't have to look at every CD when it matures. I just look at the file name. Because a file name is going to make it very easy for me to know what it is without looking at 10 CDs to figure it out. So that has helped me out. Okay, so again, the penalty calculator helps also too. Everybody gets their 1099s every January on these CDs. So the one thing you want to keep in mind is you are able to write this interest off because they will give you a form that tells you how much you paid in fees. So if you're doing your taxes, since you didn't get the interest, you actually write it off because you didn't get it. So my accountant, I give her all the interest on all these CDs that I'm going to be, that I broke earlier this summer because I said, I'm not going to wait till 2025 to get a measly 3%. Well, I can get now 5% going into 2028. So just know that you can write that interest off. You got to give it to your accountant. Um, what else did I have on there? Um, also, the other thing, too, is people need to realize if they're going to be making a certain amount of interest, I do it right now. I do quarterly interest payments to the IRS because the IRS wants to know how much interest you're getting. If it's a substantial amount, you got to pay them every quarter. So come January 15th, which is next week, April 15th, October 15th, there's four times a year, you better be ready to pay them the interest. Even though you haven't received that interest, the IRS isn't going to wait till you get your interest in five years. They want it now every year. So I'm in California, so I will be making my payment January 15th to the IRS and the state of California. So bear in mind, when you get a certain amount of interest, you got to be prepared to pay the piper too. The, the tax man wants his money now, not in five years. So just advice for people to know when they're planning on doing this. Um, one other last thought. Oh, I think... 
I don't think you have much control over the software. Unfortunately, the one thing that would be nice on your software, your dashboard, is to give you a cumulative total, especially, especially on the mobile app. Because when I do my back reconciliation each month, I have to actually take a calculator and add up all the numbers because I do it on the first of each month after the interest is paid. But I understand, I think what it is is because I bank with another bank just like yours that uses the exact same software. And unfortunately, they've never been able to give me a grand total either too, which is kind of disappointing that you can't get it on the mobile app. But it's something that you guys can request with the vendor someday and say, hey, our customers would like to see a grand total relationship summary of their balances. Because that's the one thing that <laughs> drives me crazy, <laughs> and having to full calculate each month and manually add it all up to get my summaries. Um, and last but not least, staff has been excellent. I've worked with Allison Rim over there, Donna Staten, oh. uh, Derek. So I'm in California. So I know a lot of people already on the East Coast in Virginia. So I'm just really glad I've opened accounts for myself, my wife, I've recommended friends and family, but I just thought I'd pass along my, my notes as far as what my experience has been. And that's all I have to add at this point in time. So hopefully it was helpful for some people to, to know how to plan your schedule out when going into CDs, but that's all I have to say for right now. That was outstanding. Was Thank you. Now I wanted to I wanted to add that I thought the statements summarized the balance of everything. I, I'm referring to the mobile app. Okay. The mobile app gotcha. is where it lacks okay. that feature. Because okay. I have it with another bank that has the exact same features that you okay. guys have, but it doesn't give me that balance. So I have to unfortunately go through the same process. So it, yeah, it has nothing to do with the statements are fine. Okay. Like that. So I just wanted to, uh, sorry I was if just I didn't hoping I could clear. make it easier for you, but we'll definitely recommend that to our vendor. Yeah, it, it would be, I think it would be just helpful. Uh, Agree. To, to, to that. But yeah, I think the first thing I did was make those CDs in smaller denominations so you can break them as you need them, rename the file name of your files to what your CD amounts are and when they expire. So you don't have to open up every one of them to see when they expire. It's just, a lot of those little things just it's my IT background to kind of help me think that way. How do I be logical and smarter to get things done quickly? So Mr. Juan, thank you very much for sharing that knowledge with us and for the attendees that people have spoken. We can see that wisdom that came from the West Coast. Cause I thought I think Mr. Ken Lucas is in the California as well. So Mr. Ken Lucas, Mr. Juan, thank you very much for sharing your strategies. And, uh, you know, in this evening webinar, we were talking about what are CDs, what are the benefits from a CD. But I think we're going to have Mr. Juan do a how to keep your CDs organized, to be honest with you, because you gave me, you gave me a whole playbook that I want to play with now, to be honest with you. So uh, thank you very much for sharing that wisdom with us. And as the attendees can see, and these are members that are speaking their testimonies because... And this is the reason why we emphasize about the, our products and services, because it can give you benefits like, you know, making more money on your savings. And also, like Mr. Ken Lucas was saying, he was retiring early because of these benefits. So thank you very much to both of you for sharing your wisdom with us. Um, another panel is excited because I learned so much from both of those stories, you know, so I, 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 I shouldn't say even say stories, their experiences, you know, uh, so I appreciate you so much for that. And then we do have some questions. Um, so panelists, be ready because we do have some questions on the chat, also on the Q&A. And the first question is, what if our IRA account is way over $250,000 in multiple accounts? I think that has to do with the uh, NCUA that you were referring to, Kim. So I would have to ask the question, when you say in multiple accounts, do you mean here at the credit union? And are they, because typically here at the credit union, if you have an IRA, it's just under one account and you're the primary member. So I would have to get a little bit of clarification. I'm going to be real honest with you. If you had more than 250000 in IRA money here at our credit union, I wouldn't be the least bit worried. We are a very sound, safe credit union. We're not going anywhere. Um but again, I would I would need to get clarification on how those funds are allocated to better, you know, give you an answer. Thank you, Kim. The next question is: Why do some shorter term CDs, example seven months, have a higher interest rate than a twelve month CD? 
I'll take that one, Eddie. Um, oftentimes, what financial institutions will do, they they will offer you, they they will they they will try to get you in, um, and 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 I wouldn't, I don't want to use the word lure, lure because uh, in essence, it's it's almost like a clickbait, right? That that, that they really ha- are offering a high higher interest rate. Um, but if you if you really look at the at the bigger picture, uh, you know what are, what is the guarantee that the rate that, that you're getting at that point when you're selecting a seven month CD is it going to be there once that CD matures? Uh, and so it's kind of a of a risk that you that you take. Um, and uh, and obviously as Mr. Lucas and Mr. Wong can tell you, the longer the term, uh, especially if the rate is higher, the better it's going to be for you down the road. But obviously, you know, it all depends also in what situation you are, right? Um, what stage are you in? Uh, are you someone that that is planning for uh, perhaps uh, you have a, a short term goal that you, that you that you're looking to accomplish? And if so, if that's the case, then uh, you know, then you definitely want to go for for the longer 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 term CD, uh, and perhaps it would be better for you because uh, again, as I mentioned, um, some institutions they have different um, uh, approach when it comes to uh, uh, paying interest or dividends back to their members or customers. Um, and uh, for us, we want to be your long-term partner. We just don't want you to come in and, and, and be with us for seven months and then lose you after seven months. We'd rather have you deepen the relationship and 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 really make make your money's worth for the longer term rather than the short term. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning too, um, it's particular, especially in this year, uh, there's a good chance that the Fed will be cutting the rate uh, as high as 200 basis points. That's what some of the experts are are, are anticipating. So if you uh, really want to get the best rate, uh, uh, and I don't want to steal your words, Mr. Wong, uh, don't think about today or tomorrow. Think about the, the bigger picture down the road, and that's what really is going to make the difference for you. Thank you, Milton, for that great explanation. Like you were saying, sometimes no pun intended looks can be deceiving, you know, but like you were saying, you got to think about that tomorrow, you know, what's more beneficial for you. And of course, what's your ultimate goal? Uh, a great example was Mr. Ken Lucas was like, you know what, I don't want to work anymore. And, you know, I, I want to relax and enjoy my life. And that's the reason why he did the strategy that he did, because now he can retire five years early. So that's the reason why we always talk about do your due diligence and analyze yourself. Like, what do you want to accomplish with your savings with when, when you open in a CD? And if you have maybe no idea what you want to do with it, that's the reason why you have so many great experts here at the Credit Union that can tell you, you know, that ask you those fundamental questions for you to find out what you want to do and then what you want to accomplish in your life. Another question is, I know we were talking about maturing, maturing, maturing CDs and, you know, uh, things related to that topic. So do you get a letter on an e- or an email when the CD is maturing? So, yes, if you have elected for paper statements, you will get a paper maturity notice by mail. If you have opted for electronic statements, you will get an electronic maturity notice by, by uh, the website by logging into your account. So today, what was today? January 10th at 7, 12 Easter time, we're letting you know that you do get a notice. So you won't be surprised with any you know, automatic maturity uh, on the account or anything like that. You will get a notification uh, ahead of time so you can decide like you know what I want to keep it going or you know what I want to withdraw it so best believe that the United States and the Federal Korean Union will let you know ahead of time when your city is maturing. Andrea do you see any questions on your end because I feel like I'm the only one asking the questions on <laughs> the floor as well. Right here. Um, my understanding is that a high yield savings account gives more flexibility than a CD is that a major difference? Uh, yes it is so a uh, high yield savings accounts um will definitely pay might have the possibility to pay you a better interest rate today um but the, the difference with a with a high yield savings versus a, a cd is that with the cd you lock the rate so the rate will be locked for the term that you choose on the other end uh if you decide to go with a high yield savings such as a money market uh, or or just a regular your traditional savings accounts. Uh, what that's going to happen that that rate is never fixed. So it's going to be a uh, what we call uh, an adjustable rate. So it's going to be 
going up and down depending on 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 how the you know how the economy or how the financial institution wants to uh keep their rates so yes you might be able to get a uh, a uh, 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 savings uh where you your money will be liquid uh and give you a high rate today but what 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 if uh what if the, the feds do go in and and they, and they cut back two percent on on the rates or 200 basis points on the rates in about six months then the rate that you get in today will no longer be the same because that rate is going is to have to be adjusted to the market so your five percent or your four percent depending whatever rate you have won't be the same uh in six months versus if you choose icd um i'm, I'm speaking uh here uh with a 60 month cd Whatever rate you get, you're getting today, you're gonna still get it paid in 2029 when the CD matures. So that's the difference between the two of them, and that's okay. why we will promote. But again, like I said, again, right, and uh, that that I'm trying to sound like a broken record, but it all depends on what where you are, what your plans are. Do you have short, mid, or long term goals? Uh, based on that, you know, it's what we will definitely uh, uh, guide you to making the right decision when you are decided to commit to a uh, share certificate. All right. Perfect. Uh, once again, just make sure you do due diligence and, you know, uh, put your prior priorities in the list and see if you want to reach those goals, if they're short term and long term, so like Milton was saying. So we encourage a lot of, you know, of our members to open multiple CDs. So do I need to add my beneficiaries with each CD purchase or do they automatically apply from my other accounts? So if you have designated beneficiaries on your U.S. Senate Federal Credit Union account, it is for everything. It's it's like an umbrella. It's for everything listed except for IRAs. IRAs, you actually um, have to fill out a separate beneficiary form for IRAs. But if you have savings, checking, money market, eight CDs, if you have those designated beneficiaries already set up, those funds would be distributed among those beneficiaries. Yes. Perfect. And then Miss Content Manager not even content queen anymore, manager. Is there a rate calculator to see how much interest you get for, for each of the terms? Yes, so thank you for asking. So I, and somebody had commented on the, the what does $10,000 in a CD give you? If I made a mistake, I apologize, but I use Nerd Wallet's calculator. We do have uh, savings calculators on our website, ussfcu.org backslash um, calculators. But I nerd wallets is the easiest and the I say that confidently to send you to that site because I know that our rates are the best. So there's no, uh, but use their calculator and read their articles are really nice. But I use that one because it's easy. It just asks how many months, the rate, the amount you're putting in. So nerd wallet, just Google certificate calculators. There's other ones that are kind of wonky, but that one's nice. Um, and then, so Thank you for asking that, Eddie. And then also, I uh, just want to clarify a mistake I made on one of the slides um, where I listed the rates for the, I said 5.18, I think it was supposed to say for a 24 month certificate. Instead, under it, it said 60 month. So, 24 month certificates right now uh, yielding 5.18. Um, flipping the traditional trend of the 60 month certificate or the 60 yes month certificates or the longer terms usually earn a higher rate that's not the case right now wouldn't know why but normally they will and that's what people advise you know that's why they talk up the long term so oh, free stash away for longer you get a higher rate everywhere you look right now it's for the shorter ones but like if you're locking in 4.18 for five years like three years from now, the rates could be back to what the two, you know, but you're still earning 4.8. That's why I say don't discount long-term CDs, you know, so. Yes. And I just wanted to say that I do have the rates on the screen. Hopefully you can see them, um, but I am Carrie's proofreader and I missed it. So I want to take part of the blame for that. So I do apologize. We just missed it. So there's a plot twist. Kerry did that on purpose just to make sure that people were paying attention. So, and to let you know that all the content that you see is organic. We don't copy and paste. Right. 
We don't do chat GBT. We don't do none of that. Carrie breaks her head every single time to create this <laughs> organic content. So that was just a trick. We just wanted to see who was paying attention. That's but right. I see that everybody passed the pop quiz because, you know, they they pointed it out. So we, we, we're so happy that, you know, we you understand that what we're doing, you know, we emphasize all the benefits that we do because we actually truly believe in those products and services. And that's the reason why we wanted to give an explanation of each one of them. Last but not least, either Kim or Milton. What's an APR and what's an APY for those that don't know? Awesome. Thank you, Eddie. And uh, I will answer that question. I guess that's also the last question of the evening as well. Uh, so just so you have an understanding, um, in, in the way how I like to explain it to, to, to our members, uh, it's simple. Uh, so if you think of savings, think of APY annual percentage yield. If you think of a loan, think of an APR because that's the rate that you'll be paying. Um, so APR makes it, uh, think of it as a loan. And that's the rate that you'll be paying uh, a lender and APY is what the rate that they will pay, they'll be paying you for having your money with the financial institution. So that's that's how I like to the free, uh, set the two aside, which is a lot a lot easier for for me, um, and, and it really works. I you know when I when we explain it to 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 the to the members, because uh, oftentimes they can they can get confused with like okay APR and APY, um, and and uh, and and a disclosure here. Um, as a financial institution, we are actually required to say the entire word, not just the uh the, the you know the 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 the, the APR APY. We are supposed to be required to say annual percentage yield uh and annual percentage rate should you be considering doing a loan. So, but that would be the difference be, between the two of them. Um, and um, if there's no more questions, I, I again I just want to thank everyone for coming in. I know this uh, the first webinar and we already going uh, past 20 minutes, 21 minutes past the uh, uh, the, uh, the the scheduled time. So we truly, truly appreciate everyone. Thank you all so much for coming on board. Uh, and obviously a special thanks to Mr. Lucas and Mr. Juan for uh, uh, being a volunteer and, and, and decided to come in and, and, and talk to talk to everyone that attended this webinar. We are very grateful and most important, we're very thankful for uh, for for being members here of the credit union. Um, and and like Kim always says, right, we're people helping people. Um, and that's what we're all about. So um, I will uh, I will I'm sure I will get grilled if uh, if I don't uh, let you know what the webinar for next week will be, uh, and that's in uh, uh, for next Wednesday, or it's going to be about guarding your finances in 2024. Uh, so uh, that would be the topic for next week. So again, uh, if you enjoy this webinar um, and, uh, and 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 you really see the benefit of this, we want you to invite your family, your friends. Uh, and if they're not if they're not if they're not members of the credit union yet, please share share the word. Uh, we're open to everyone. You don't have to be in the Senate community in order to become a member. Um, just give us a call. We'll be more than happy to guide you and how to uh, how to how to become a member here with the credit union. But uh, um, Carrie, Kim, Andrea, Eddie, I'm not sure if you all have anything else you all want to say before we uh, we 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 say goodbye to everyone. That's just see you next week. We'll see you next week. Thank you, everybody, for attending this webinar. Thank you.